Move your feet. All right, good work. See, you see how you, you just let them come all the way in? You can't do that. You let them come all the way in to you. Fight the hands, get good posture. Okay, Mike, let's take a look at what we could have improved on. Uh, you let Rivera come in on you five times and you did not respond once in about a 20 second engagement. So let's take a look at it in slow-mo and look at um, each time you let him come in. This training is all about responding first. There's number one, you let him come in, you throw a token jab out, but it's on the defensive end. He throws a short hook right there. That's number two. And again, he's walking in unimpeded here. He's trying to cut the angle. You're responding well, but nonetheless, it's number three. It's not the greatest, but it's still number three. And then number four, he just shoots in and grabs your leg without being offered any type of resistance. And then number five is when you turn over here and stop. So some basic defensive concepts you need to learn, move, cover, counter. I'm not going to talk about those in detail, but they build up your defensive efforts to uh, respond to first contact. So here's my buddy Josh Steely. Uh, look at that jab and he just touches and moves. Simple jab, touch and move. All right. And this just offers him to the space to keep working. Good visual, little kick in the inside, jab, move. And, and let's look at it one more time. Little step inside, touch, angle, touch, come back. And then he's going to counter James. James is in the headgear. It's going to counter James when James tries to fire. Nice little uppercut on the inside. This is all first contact is about. Somebody touches you, you touch them back. Um, let's look at that again with the kick. He eats the kick, but he puts something out there. This controls the psychology of your opponent. I love this right here. James fixes his shin guard. They touch. Look at Josh. He closes the distance, gets off first. James tries to fire back, and then but Josh is right there to hit the secondary engagement. I'm going to let this just play for a second and just watch the little movements, the hesitation feints that Steely is doing. Uh, Josh Steely is in the United shirt. Um, hesitation feints, uh, the moving, fighting when he wants to fight, and anything off of first contact. Uh, jab again, just keeping distance. And so even when James attacks, he's putting something out there. It doesn't have to be a killer move. It's just something to get into the psychology of your opponent. Uh, let them know that if you come in here, there's going to be something waiting on you. Um, let's move to this part right here. I love this part. And he misses the shot, but he's able to get a nice little body shot and follows James to the ground. This is very important. This is where Rivera takes you down. This is how you want to respond. And James does a very good job here, all right? James throws a kick. Steely misses. He throws a secondary kick. Steely throws a push. Um, it's like a body shot or a push down. He follows him to the ground. Now, immediately, James does not wait for Steely to get a position. Immediately, he goes on the attack. But Steely doesn't wait for James to get the takedown. Immediately, he stands up, turns and angles, and creates a post to get himself out of there. This is the mindset you need to have. This is where the one thing you were kind of missing is just the waiting around. That's what first contact is all about. Here's Isaiah with James in a deeper situation, very similar. So you're not always gonna get first contact. Sometimes you have to deal with it. So watch this little thing. Isaiah catches the glove. James manipulates his uh, base leg. Isaiah tries to recover. Then James goes for the hook. Isaiah goes for the uh, elbow block. And then uh, look at this little sneaky little leg lace that James does here to open up the hip. He tries to get his foot in. Isaiah steps up and then he's going to um, try to uh, shrimp and face uh, James on the ground. But look at that little leg, it's just beautiful. He tries to counter. Then he's gonna get his back to the ground to try to face uh, James. James is gonna read it and come to the top. And, and when you play first contact, it's all about the chess game, you know? And look at Isaiah trying to get his shin under in front of James's knee. And I like this because by continually trying to move his shin under in front of James's knee or thigh, it creates hip movement and that hip movement cuts down on James's ability to strike and he's forced to control him and that's kind of what you want you don't want to get crowned and pounded and again Isaiah addresses the hands so hand control is important um, James manipulates the base Isaiah defends it he goes for the hook Isaiah defends it 
then again, he creates this little off-balance uh, position with the leg raise and um, opens up the hip. And Isaiah, even then, is aware as he begins to fall, he's going to try to step up, turn himself out of this situation. James is wise to it. Isaiah is wise to his movement, so he tries to flatten out. James is wise to that, and he comes over top. Look at this beautiful uh, thigh bump that Zay does to create space for himself to get start getting himself back into his guard. Um, really good stuff for both guys. And again, the hip movement is causing James um, to have to do jujitsu with him. And that's what you want to do is change the complexion of the fight. And then the guy just can't uh, uh, pound you out unimpeded. And even when James does get some level of hip control, he's able, able to go back to the strikes. But Isaiah even addresses that with uh, with hand control. So it's a lot of mechanisms that go into your defensive posture. And the thing is, you have to be consistent. You have to be stay aware, stay alert, and stay confident. So go back, Mike, and apply this to your round now. Look at some things you could have done here in these opening 20 seconds um, that you could have done differently against Rivera. Um, that makes a big difference in winning or losing. I am Coach Sess, and you've had words with the Mad Coach.